Welcome to Ruger Tech Tips. I'm going to show you how to reassemble your Ruger single action revolver. Before you begin, you want to make sure there's no ammunition in the revolver or anywhere in your work area. All you need for tools are a soft faced hammer, an appropriate sized screwdriver, a brass punch, a 1 16th punch, and if you have a Bisley model, uh, a, a 7 64 Allen wrench, and a pair of safety glasses. To start this, you want to have the base pin in the revolver, make sure that's fully seated. The parts that you have laid out, there are five screws that go into the frame. The shortest grip screw, go, grip frame screw, goes in the very front of the grip frame. The two screws that are the same length are the two rear screws, and the two screws that are different lengths, the, the longest of the two, goes through the same size as your hammer pivot. There's a notch opening in the hammer pivot, and that intersects that pivot point. So, just remember how you took it apart, it goes in that same side. So to begin with, we're going to build these up as small sub-assemblies. So I'm going, to, I'm going to take the gate, and I'm going to put the gate inside the frame, just on its pivot there, and the gate spring, the, the longer leg of this, it turns a 90 degree, that's going to go in, and it's going to rest down on, on the gate itself. Your cylinder latch is going to go in, so the pivot hole lines up inside once that's just going to drop that in. Now I'm going to build up my sub assemblies. I'm going to take my trigger and put my transfer bar onto the trigger and I'm going to take the pawl and I'm going to install that onto the hammer. So I have these two sub assemblies and I'm going to drop them in together. The transfer bar goes in first and then the hammer and pawl chases it behind. So transfer bar in first, pawl goes in beside it, Make sure your cylinder latch is out of the way. Once you get these lined up, that whole assembly will just drop right down in place, like that. Then I'm going to do is I'm going to put my hammer pivot in and just put the same size, whichever side that notch was when you originally took it out, put it back in the same manner. Doesn't matter whether it's on the left or the right, whatever it was originally, that's the same you want to put it back together again. Your trigger cylinder latch pivot, that notch wants to be on the same side that the spring for your gate is on. So I'm going to take my 1 16th punch and I'm going to just compress the gate to get that low enough so the spring goes over the top of it. And it's just a matter of getting that pivot pin all the way through your gate spring, the frame, your cylinder latch, the trigger, and out the other side. And just when you push that all the way through, you feel the spring snap into that that tells you it's centered. Now we have two spring and plungers here. Okay, one is for the cylinder latch, one is for the pawl. The pawl one goes into plunger first into the back of the frame. Make sure you don't stick it in the screw hole, goes in the plunger first in. The cylinder latch goes into the grip frame itself, spring first, plunger up. So I'm just going to sit that right in there. Okay. I'm also at this point in time going to take my my mainspring for my hammer, and that how that pivots forward, I slide that up in here and just make sure the seat is resting back down inside the grip frame. Now I'm ready to assemble my two halves. So I'll pick this up with my left hand, I'll start the trigger down through the grip frame, make sure that you get your hammer strut up inside the frame, and that you compress your pawl spring and plunger out of the way, that you don't crimp that as you're putting this together. Underside of the trigger, we need to compress that trigger spring and get that out of the way. So I just use my screwdriver, compress that, and let the frame, grip frame slide back a little bit. Now I can snap these two together. And I'm holding this with my thumb. I'll take my front screw, that is the shortest screw. I'm going to start that in the hole, and I'm just going to screw that in place. Once that screw is snugged up, now I can and somewhat let go of it and install the other screws. I'm going to screw my two, my two bottom screws in, and I know on this particular revolver the longer screw is going to go through my hammer pivot, so I'm going to put that one in first. This one's going to go on the gate side. Next I'm going to put the one that's opposite of that, that's on the, that's on the, the ball side here, and I'm going to screw that in until it's fully seated. And just make those hands snug, they don't have to be overly tight. We do not recommend Loctite on those, the, the nylock on those should hold those in place. The two remaining screws are the same length, those are your two rear screws, and just install both of those.
Now, once you have all five screws snugged up, I can make sure that my mainspring is seated all the way. I'm going to take the hammer and bring it to the full cock position. That is going to release my disassembly pin, and then I can ease the hammer forward. All I have left, install my grips, put my left and right grip panels back on, and screw those down until they're snug. Do not over tighten the grip screws. It's very easy to break a grip panel by over tightening. Just begin to snug those up and that's all you will need to do with those. Lastly, I'm going to open my gate, pull my base pin forward, then I can install my cylinder assembly and fully seat the base pin. Make sure everything works. Cylinder spins freely, gate Congratulations, you have successfully reassembled your Ruger single-action revolver. Thanks for watching this Ruger Tech Tip.